welcome to MBF full in-depth uh, review and results video. Um, once again, just a reminder, I am a mom first and foremost. <laughs> so if you hear certain noises or pauses in the video, maybe my outfit is changed and things like that. It's because stuff happened and I had to do <laughs> mom things. Um, and also the odd noises, you're going to hear my toddler, she's just living her best toddler life and doing her. <laughs> so what is Beachbody's MBF? MBF stands for muscle burns fat, muscle makes you smaller, while you look smaller you may weigh the same if you hit a pound of muscle, a pound of fat, a, pound, a pound is a pound, but fat takes up more space and more muscle is more condensed and compact. So obviously muscle burns fat, the whole emphasis is doing some strength training, weightlifting, what have you, in a concise, condensed period, and gaining some muscle. MBF, or Muscle Burns Fat, is a three-week program with Beachbody Super Trainer Megan Davies. It is a three-week program that is recommended to do Muscle Burns Fat Advanced for another three weeks to combine into a six-week program. The MBF workouts themselves range from 25 to 35 minutes per workout. For the three week program, it is seven days a week. There is a rest slash dynamic recovery day. The workouts actually consist of blocks with two to three sets in them, which can bit, get a bit confusing. So I will just put up a little graph there so you can kind of see what I mean and hopefully that gives you a great visual as once you see the printouts that are uh, printouts that are available through Beachbody On Demand um, it's, it's very simple or easy enough to understand. Overall through the workouts MBF uses a lot of unilateral or offset exercises and compound movements to burn those calories. The equipment you will need for MBF is a set of dumbbells, preferably light, medium, heavy. Obviously the range of weight varies greatly depending on where you are. And mind you, no weight is also an option just to learn the form, stay in correct form. And sometimes considering where you're starting at, that is enough. They're also recommended to use the beach body bod rope as, as the cardio that is done in the program is primarily jump ropes. Um, I personally did not buy the bod ropes or any ropeless jump rope as I did not want to buy extra equipment and I was like meh. <laughs> I did do the jump rope workout segments but just with jumping in the air without any equipment or extra devices. Concerning nutrition for MBF, there's obviously an emphasis on proper nutrition but their uh, beach body does recommend it's to be mindset or it's portion fixed containers in which I'll put a little bit more info there for you and linked below if you're interested in what that's all about with any workout program nutrition is very important and is probably one of the probably more important than the actual exercise and workout itself but the emphasis is clearly on making better choices or being healthier watching you know, what you eat and portion sizes my recommendation and tips through MPF concerning nutrition are obviously get enough protein. We'll link protein calculators below and my protein picks below as well. Um, but it's obviously most one of the most important things, especially if you're doing weightlifting, strength training. You want to get those muscles. You want to get those gains. Make sure you're getting enough protein as that is the building block for building muscle. And once again, I apologize. You may be hearing some banging in the background. That is my daughter. She's coloring. Another recommendation and tip, learn your macronutrients. Macronutrients are the breakdown of fats, carbs, proteins your body needs at the calorie either maintenance level or weight loss level or even gaining muscle level. Learn your macronutrients. I'll put, I'll put the links below for the macro, macronutrient calculators and more information about that as macronutrients are important not only for muscle gain, weight loss, um, things like that. They also help you know what is in your allotment you may be able to eat without getting too much. Yeah, whatever. My third tip uh, and recommendation concerning nutrition for MBF is just like with every other program or weight loss or workout exercise program you're doing, do, you do not have to get too strict with yourself to see results. 
Obviously, it's about sustainability and long-term goals and achievements, and you want to be able to make this a long-term thing. So relax, make better choices, make healthier decisions, learn your calories if that's how you want to do this, you eat, more eat more intuitively and actually listen to your body, and have proper serving portions, eat more vegetables, eat more fruit. But obviously, this is long-term sustainability, make better choices, try to be healthier, slowly but surely wins that race. Also a huge plus about this is MBF is only a three week program so it may, may not be too difficult. Maybe don't do any cheat dates, maybe don't do any late night snacking, things like that because three weeks is all it is. My overall thoughts concerning MBF and its nutrition is obviously to be mindset or portion fix can work for you if you need more of a guidance and information and it really just depends on what you are willing to do do you want to do more of a calorie counting and a food allotment system then obviously portion fix may be up your alley if you want to eat more intuitively and just kind of know where your calorie range should be and just make better choices and be healthier to be mindset might be more of your speed overall my philosophy overall my philosophy concerning nutrition is it's essentially calories in versus calories out but obviously it gets more intricate the more you want to lose the more you want to get that certain physique so that is pretty much the first step is calories in versus calorie out. calories out take allotment of what you're eating how much you're eating scale it back make healthier choices since mbf uses a lot of compound movements to burn those extra calories what are the calories we're talking about Considering the calorie burns for the workout, the average is about 250. My average was about 249 per workout, or at least with all of them averaged out. I apologize, as you may hear my daughter, she's having a great time watching her show <laughs> and running back and forth. Um, so it's still a reasonably good workout. You will get a burn, you will get calories burned, you will feel the sweat happening and all that good stuff. Lower body burn is of course is the highest calorie burning workout as it is 349 calories per workout at least that's what I was able to find through my Fitbit and the lowest was dynamic recovery with only 63 calories burned during that workout as obviously it's dynamic recovery it's very light an emphasis on stretch and relaxing relaxing <laughs> but stretching out and being gentle with yourself after the whole harder week. Obviously, depending on where your fitness level is, your weight, height, all that good stuff, you may get slightly higher calorie burns than I did or lower. Some recommendations and tips for the workouts that I learned as I was doing them would be form is primary. Although this workout has a lot of weights and emphasis on holding weights and using those dumbbells, if you are new to weightlifting, new to strength training in that regard, do not be afraid to put the dumbbells down. <laughs> uh, form is the most important whenever you're doing strength training with weights. Slow and steady wins that race. So do not be afraid tonight to put the dumbbells down. Watch the video. Watch it a few times. Rewind it if you have to. <laughs> Rewind it <laughs> um, if you have to. Slow it down. The reason why there's such an emphasis on keeping your form as great as possible is there are a lot of compound movements within MBF, which compound movements, as you may or may not know, are movements where there are multiple exercises being performed, meaning you will be doing a lift here, you will be doing a squat here, you may do a lunge with a curl. It's, it's intense in the sense of you need to pay attention and have proper form. <laughs> I'll also link below modifications for some basic workout movements because Modifications are always needed during workouts, especially if you're new to working out or if some things are achy or you just do not know how to do those properly. No shame in that game. <laughs> the next tip goes on to, as I said, there are a lot of compound movements. If you're not familiar or comfortable with weightlifting or strength training in the regards of holding dumbbells and using weights, slow it down. Don't do weights or go very light. Once again, no shame in that game. You do you. Make sure you don't hurt yourself. Third recommendation and tip through the workouts, joint support is important. Not only is joint support important throughout your life, um, it is very important as your exercise. If you're new to exercise, getting back into it, if you're overweight or if your muscles and joints are just not used to it. Plain and simple. 
take it easy take joint supplements for your joint health if you need to primarily knee braces joint braces on your elbow anything you need to feel more comfortable secure and strong so primarily remember take your supplements modify and get assistance when you need to i recommend knee braces just because the primary cardio in mbf is jump rope even though it's air jump rope you may need to brace your knees and protect them as knee joints and knee health is actually very important <laughs> so mbf workouts are they're very good they're put together well megan davies is an excellent trainer in the sense of keeping you motivated and keeping everything going but the workouts were not necessarily built for me <laughs> um, i have experience with strength training and using dumbbells and weightlifting in the past but a lot of these workouts ended up getting monotonous in the sense that i am not fantastically coordinated so i was getting frustrated and just getting over the <laughs> workouts although they use compound movements because compound movements burn calories through multiple movements and really help you build the muscle in the short amount of time which is necessary as the program is touted for three weeks i got frustrated because i knew enough about weightlifting strength training and dumbbells to know why they're doing the movement but to understand why they're doing the movement but would strongly prefer to uncomplicate the movement as, as I am not coordinated enough to fully enjoy <laughs> the movements. <laughs> Through MBF, my results weren't stellar, but that was acceptable as I did lose 1.2 pounds and one fourth of an inch off my body in overall. <laughs> Mind you, there is differences in the pictures that you can see that, especially from the side view, as I think um, I did not lose as much from my waist, but definitely from the belly area where my be the largest part did slim down. And considering that it's just a three week program, I consider it a win as I, I still ate in my calories and didn't go overboard in trying to fit a certain physique level or a certain nutrition guideline that was too strict for me. I made sure to do something that I was very much able, willing, and long term can do. So overall, although I did not lose a ton of weight or a ton of inches, I still was able to see a difference and I did enjoy myself enough to feel that it was overall satisfactory. Considering the calorie intake for me and my results, overall I had an average calorie intake of the three weeks between 1,800 and 2,000 calories. For some people that may be too high, for some people that may be too low. For me, it fits right around in that mid-range where if I wanted to lose a little bit more, maybe go to 1600 to 1800 If I really didn't care as much, go to 2000 2200 But for the rate I wanted to see the weight loss and weight difference, that was satisfactory. Nutrition is a issue for me. And I don't just go full strict even if it's only three weeks. It's because I have a binge eating tendencies. I tend to be an emotional eater. Some days in general or if you're a mom raising a toddler are stressful and you really just want a tub of ice cream or if you want to make your favorite comfort food. For me, mine may be making peanut butter and honey sandwiches or... <laughs> or just making regular sandwich. But obviously if you already had dinner or anything, you may go overboard on your calories. So that could be why my nutrition was not as strict as others, but you do you. That is what I'm a firm believer in, that you do what is sustainable and what works best for you as it is about long-term success. On my previous Transform 20 video, I went into detail how the transformation process, any transformation process, although this is, this is MBF, any workout program has a transformative process, be it just physical or emotional or mental. Um, I mentioned in my Transform 20 video how I had to, how one of the transformations that I went through was internal in the sense of my core, pelvic floor, and what have you. <laughs> Um, being a mom postpartum and all that good stuff. I have issues with urinary incontinence um, It's not something I'm really embarrassed about as I've heard numerous times about women sneezing laughing coughing what have you and being a little bit through NBF one of the primary things is not just about the physical transformation outwardly or the weight loss Yay. I was able to gain ab and core strength as well as pelvic floor strength as a big example of this is doing one of their primary core circuit workouts during uh, MBF. It's called 
AMRAP, which is as many rounds as possible where you do certain moves, repeat them in the time allotted, and you keep track on a piece of paper to improve over the course of three weeks. The AMRAP is primarily uh, definitely hit as there's a lot of jumping, um, uh, variations of jumping jacks, jumping ropes, um, weights. You will also be lifting weights, usually more on the light to medium side. But during the first week of the AMRAP, um, core circuit one or core circuit, the Tuesday core circuit, the first one, I did pee. <laughs> Luckily, I was visited by Aunt Flo, so I had a pad on already. The first time I peed during the workout, yes, the first time. It was upsetting, and I was like, oh, I'm trying to hold, we could do this, and obviously I was getting, the stress and content was coming up as I was feeling um, the urge to pee, uh, even though I had recently, obviously just did, because I know what I'm about and that that is an issue. <laughs> and then throughout that AMRAP, I was continuing, I was still holding and being strong and trying to modify and slow things down, just to give myself a fighting chance. It happened again. Still upset with myself but we made it through and I just knew all right we need this is an issue we will continue to work on with saying that as the weeks went on by the end of the third week when we did our last AMRAP I was able to do so without peeing at all I think it was actually the second to last one where that milestone was hit I didn't pee twice I didn't pee once I peed zero times and was able to hold and be steady so once again, it is not just about the physical strength gains or the weight loss, it is about the internal strength. And every win is a win, even if it's just you doing one more rep, one more move, you do you, modify when you need to, get in it fully when you can, and just feel your best and do your best. In the end, I enjoyed this workout enough to have done it once but it was just not my cup of tea. Obviously this may be up your alley if you are more coordinated or if you really just want to do it if you're a super fan of Megan Davies. But it was a good workout considering that my nutrition was mid-level and I did give it an effort and then I had some meat issues halfway through but I continued through. So definitely the results were definitely satisfactory for it just being a three week program. For someone like me that it isn't super coordinated, just the compound movements and exercises were just too strenuous for me to just keep up with as I just wanted to a more simplified workout. With saying that, if you do not mind compound movements, if you're quite coordinated, like an emphasis on dance workouts are your thing, this may be something that is better suited for you. And hey, if you just want to give it a try and you're not sure if you're going to enjoy it, it's only a three week program. Please like, comment, subscribe. I would love to get feedback and any tips that you may have as well. And I will link the blog post so you can see the article in full as there is more that I do not mention here that I ha may have wrote in there. And you can also share it whichever way you like. I once again apologize if any of the noises were too much for you as I'm a mom and I'm just trying to do my best. <laughs> so thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.